Last time on Couple. I'm so excited. Amari chose Dominique over Alicia to stay at the couple's villa. But the two struggle to make a quick connection. This is not going well. Y'all know black people don't ride no damn horses. <laughs> I have my moments where I definitely get annoyed. It's like I'm not really a jokester. Back at the bungalows, Michelle and Lisa got into it. Lisa, you don't want to start something with me because I'm the realest person you've ever met. Don't think it's real. Ugh, oh, that bitch. The next morning, War Hero BT arrived to check out his chemistry with the ladies. <laughs> Some of them walked left. I just didn't feel a spark. But most of them, especially Alex, were feeling BT's vibe and walked right. I just know I want him to pick me. I'm really excited. At the Tiki Bar, BT chose Kristen and Ashley as the two ladies he wanted to get to know better at the villas, leaving Alex with a broken heart. I don't know if there's going to be anybody else that I feel that strongly about so fast. Tonight. Who will BT choose to couple up with? I'm just attracted to them both. I'm absolutely torn. you so I could not have picked two better women you guys are absolutely incredible and I've had the best time these two days getting to know you guys I can just feel my heart is beating and my mind is racing I felt I had to share with BT that I'm a virgin but I didn't want it to affect his decision as hard as that choice was um, I'm wondering if, Ashley, you would like to go back to the house with me. I absolutely would, yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. Have fun, darling. I'm so happy for you. You made an amazing choice. I am bummed, but I know the right guy is going to be coming for me, and I'm excited for that. Ashley's a very strong woman. She believes in her values and her faith, and those are attractive qualities. And I think the connection with Ashley, it's intense and it's real, and I definitely want to see where it goes. I got a up. Can you see my love? See my love. You see my Okay, are you guys excited about a couple adding to our as interesting foursome that we have going on? The dynamic will just kind of like I increase. I just want them to be really fun. Hi guys! How are you doing? Me too. I am absolutely looking for a strong man who can stand up for what he believes in. He is one hunk of man. So cheers to the new couple. Sex tuplets. Sex tuplets. Sex tuplets. Yeah. Sex tuplets. Cheers. cheers to the sex tuplets. We still have to talk about what we're gonna do as far as like who's sleeping where, but. No, you're getting this room. I'm gonna go find my room. This will be our first compromise, and uh, luckily for me, I guess it was an easy one. <laughs> having our separate beds. I just thought that was so beyond thoughtful. It left me speechless. I just couldn't even believe that something so small, like it means a lot to me. I'm surprised. You look different. I see Kristen and I'm like, this is gonna be awkward because I'm just sitting here thinking like, probably gonna have to admit that it hurt my feelings that she didn't reach out to me. Kristen knew that I liked BT. She knows that she hurt me. You look stunning. That's like, what some good sleep stunning. and air conditioning absolutely. and a queen size bed do to you. Well, did you like knowing how Alex felt about BT, obviously, and you being her roommate, where did you feel a, a certain type of way? You know, it really was hard for me at first. Was it? Because you didn't text me once while you were gone to ask how I was doing. I figured you were adult enough to handle it. And I figured that it would be a conversation that we can have in person. It was hard for me. I felt 
like we had established a strong enough friendship. You owed me that, like, how are you? But what about owing me, I'm really happy for you? Because I felt like- Because it goes both ways, Alex. That was my time to experience too. And I did feel guilty. I was so broken. I literally cried myself to sleep. I felt- Why? Because I knew I liked him. A lot of people liked him though. We could all feel the same about the same guy. Right, I think in this situation, we're just gonna have to agree to disagree. I think it's just important to remind ourselves that we are here for a reason. And that reason is to find love. It's bad that we're all becoming friends because when you meet a guy and two of us or three of us or four of us are connecting with him, it's gonna make it harder for us to explore that for ourselves. Sometimes you have to be selfish when it comes to love. Let's just remember why we're here. What's your drink of choice? Tequila. Really? Really? Drink of choice. Yeah, I do like whiskey coke, man. I get down with the brown, baby. Are you down with the brown? You didn't end up asking anyone I that, did you, right? Black girl said. <laughs> no. It would have been yeah. pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to, but I did it. <laughs> I like Amari, but I have my moments where I definitely get annoyed. I'm just really trying to understand his humor and personality. <laughs> I wish you would have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm totally willing to kind of figure out where we go from here, but it takes two. I'm not going to do it by myself. It's off the easy for <laughs> <she is. laughs> Welcome to my colorful oblivion. Oh, yeah. Well, all the people in the car that I'm sitting in are cruising just to cruise and laughing just to laugh and smiling just to show the whole world that. Like, I want to experience this with somebody I feel like I can see myself with. Yeah. You know? We're here for love, so it's kind of like right. you got to focus on you. I Oh, I know that sound. Oh my God, it's here! There it is! Ah! Ah! A boy is here! It's such an unnerving feeling! We have binoculars. Oh my God. I'm starting to get very anxious. Oh no, he's landing out. Yeah! I gotta go, I can't do this again. Oh no. Ah! What happened, are there bees over there? Ah! There's Alex. I don't wanna go through what I did last time and like get all excited and then get my like heart broken. I don't wanna have any preconceived notions about this guy. I wanna walk around the corner and that is my like first time seeing him. Is he, is he landing? Do you see him? Do you think he's tall or short? Do you see more people getting on the boat? Yeah. I liked what I saw when I was so far. <laughs> I had a little tingle. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing, brother? I'm doing awesome. How's your trip in? Oh, good. Yeah. Welcome to Anguilla. Come on. Let's Let do me it. walk you to the destination. I feel like he's cute. I'm very intrigued now. Sexy. <laughs> the girls were telling me they're like, they want a serious guy that's looking for real love. So is, is that you? Oh, where are they, Terrence? Where are they? They're girls? here. We're pulling them up right now. <laughs> all right, we got nine amazing women. Here's how it's gonna go. They're all gonna right. sit down. You're gonna get to know all nine of them, all right? This is based off of complete chemistry. Now, the ones that like you are gonna go to the right. They're gonna meet you at the Tiki Bar. Those that don't are gonna go to the left. They're gonna go back to the bungalows. All right, and uh, I'll check back in with you in a few. I appreciate okay? it, man. All right, good luck. Having more responsibilities in life, like a company, my dating life has been kind of on the back burner. But I feel the timing of this lent itself to me to 
opened my heart again. Love is awesome. Oh, here she comes. <laughs> I love your pants. I How love your look. You? I'm Kristen. I'm Taylor. Taylor. My pleasure. Nice to meet you. Grab a seat on the love couch here. You're definitely a rock in this one dimple. Oh, I, I, yeah. You're so funny. What? No, I always call myself a reject. <laughs> I only a have reject? one dimple because <laughs> that's just funny that you notice. You seem very present. Do you meditate? I do. You do? Mm -hmm. I that's do meditate. Great. Yeah, bright and early this morning. I am a very spiritual person. Mm -hmm. you, like, I love camping overnight and, you know, just being out there meditating. Yeah. And also, I mean, like looking at the stars at night, I, I saw know. the first time here. I'm like, I can't imagine just. I know. It's but... beautiful. It was lovely meeting you. Likewise, dear. Thank you. I will be seeing you soon. <laughs> the simple, though. <laughs> it's a very well put together woman. I found him very sexy. I mean, I just got back from the villas last night, but take me now. <laughs> Does your family kind of push you to date and all that, or my or grandmother? My grandmother and I are very close. She's pushed okay. me to settle down, so oh, it's a little different. That's neat. Okay. But, yeah, that's neat. That's said. neat. Is she, that a bad word to use? Neat? Is that a no? It's cute, neat? actually. Neat is a really endearing word. It can't be. Oh, okay. You know, I unless you're talking about a puppy. Uh, he had stunning eyes. They were like crystal clear blue. They were so beautiful. Um, Personality-wise, I just kind of felt like either he's going to annoy me or I'm going to annoy him. Do you want to, like, get info? About tell me whatever you want to tell me. I'm 28. Uh-huh. I'm a mother. You are? Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Boy or girl? He's a, a two-year-old boy. Kids are awesome. Yeah. They really are. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm an interior decorator. You do. I am, and I'm also a broker. Look at you. Hustling, mama. Well, no one's going to take care of your two-year-old but you. I mean, that's not, you know. Yeah. I bet you're a good mother. I, I can say that about myself I proudly, and thank you. Yeah. The fact that I have a child and I am a mother is a big part of who I am. So whoever I'm with has to appreciate that and love that. He's a cool dude. He's fun and he's mature. And I was kind of crushing on him a little bit. I like your gig. Thanks. It's everything here, the shoes, everything. It's like, you know, I'm impressed. <laughs> Taylor's the type of guy who I would normally go for if I was in New York, has great charm. But I don't know, I just could sense that he wasn't for me. Oh. <laughs> You're all sorts of fun, aren't you? Yes, I'm a ball of fun. How do you feel ocean. about the ocean? Love it, yeah. You like a dolphin? I just know something was missing. I'm very, very energetic, so I like guys that like are kind Keep of on the same level. Oh, yeah. You are adorable.
I did it the first time. Get it, girls. Have fun. <laughs> I mean, look, maybe I fall in love, maybe I don't, but I'm on an island with two beautiful women, and it's my oyster, so how could you not be excited? <laughs> how could you not be excited? What kind of music do you play? It's all over the place, but it's like alternative, pop, hip hop, reggae. So much respect for that, man. Oh, it's, beats no, it's, yeah. no, it's Thank awesome, you. It's fun. Yeah. Cheers, everybody. No. Cheers to saying no to cheers. <laughs> cheers to saying no to cheers. Cheers. No, no cheers. All right. I have not had the opportunity to have like any type of one-on-one -on -one with Amari. I feel like he hasn't really taken the initiative to really get to know me a little bit better. Sorry. You don't know who Eric Clapton is? He's such a good singer. Sorry, I don't. I want what some of the other couples have already that are in the couples villa. Like it's been super quick for Lindsay and Alex or BT and Ashley. I would love to grab a little bit of Amari's attention. I want to enjoy the experience with somebody. I'm not liking this situation for a reason. You're having a great time. Yeah. He's having a great ass time. I he made the right decision. I felt logically I made the correct decision based off of the time that I spent. Because it's not, it's not there, dog. The Amari that I am, she's not bouncing off well. I feel bad that, that, that I laugh so hard at your jokes because she's so pissed stoned. when you're funny. Yes, and I'm like, well, why is, what's wrong? Even when I said, let's do the cheers. And I'm like, cheers, everybody. She didn't even put the glass out. And I'm like, you're a buzzkill. Like, I don't care. If I could send your ass back to the bunker <laughs> and tell Alicia to come, at least Alicia is like, I wonder if you could do that. I have my uncertain thoughts between Dominique and Alicia. Oh my god, he just texted me again. What is he saying? There are certain times where I second guess my decision. <gasps> This is the stuff that gives me anxiety, major anxiety. I don't want anyone to hate me, and this is freaking me out. Now I'm thinking about Dom. I'm like, here he's texting another girl. Yeah. I want to text right away, but what should I say to her? Like, at this point, what do you say? I am so conflicted. First thing I want to do is tell Dominique that Amari texted me. But at this point, Dominique and Amari have been together for a while. She spent a lot of time with him. He spent a lot of time with her. Oof. I'm throw up. It's hard because you are stirring up the pot. Like, this is gonna change. It's probably gonna break their relationship. And then she might be hurt right now, but when she finds the guy who truly deserves her, she's gonna thank you. I'm really pissed off at him for putting you in this situation. Who's gonna jump in the pool first? Look at this. At what? <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> I want to get my feet wet and Let's ocean do it. water. Let's do it. Yeah. I think both those women have exceptional qualities. <laughs> there's romance everywhere. There's sexualness everywhere. There's great vibes everywhere. It's like he doesn't really get much better than that. The beach is so much fun. We're just joking around and kind of Woo! copying the feels here and there. <laughs> so why not? When in Anguilla, get it on. This is super hot. There's definitely an attraction there. I don't know how deep that attraction goes, but um, Michelle is more my type physically. I think we're probably gonna make out at some point tonight. Oh my 
my gosh. Did you see what? the one with Michelle? Oh, she looks so she happy. She looks so happy. <laughs> this is really cute of Lisa. Of Lisa. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're well. so cute. Kind of looks like to me that Lisa and Taylor weren't connecting. Then Michelle and Taylor are kind of hitting it off more. Thank you, right? I feel like this is a good spot. I felt really weird about being here with Taylor and Michelle. Lisa, do you want to help us? I'm good. <laughs> like, I'm not used to coming on a date and having, like, some third girl, like, accompany us, you know? Like, I'm just not used to that. I would love to fall in love. If I fall in love, it's I fall in love. It's kind of fun to let go. And, it's, so right? it's so mysterious. I love love, and I would, I would love to love What's and nice to be thing loved. To say, you love love. I love love. I've never been away from my son for more than two days. So this experience, if I didn't feel in my heart of hearts was worth it, I would not do. Because the past three years have been like about everything but me. I'm sure. And you know, it's time. Ethan's dad and I, we were at a boiling point, and we broke up and it was terrible. And I think that makes me a bit tough in relationships, uh, but I'm working on it. There's so much anticipation. For? For this, for this yeah. experience, so. I think Michelle is wonderful. I, really, I do, I think she is amazing. She was very easy to talk to. It, it wasn't anything was forced or like coerced or pushed, it just kind of flowed naturally. Wow. <laughs> so what do you, how do you want to... Uh, I have a special delivery. It seems personal, so let me give you your moment. Wow. That is a delivery. Um, uh, Mish, got a little note here. Yeah? <laughs> can you read it? Yeah, I can. Hi, you two. We all know one likes the third wheel. Enjoy your alone time, Taylor. You and I can get to know each other better tomorrow. Oh, OK. I'm the kind of person where if I'm bothered by someone, I need some time to like, get over it. I didn't feel like jumping into some sort of like relationship competition, especially with Michelle. Where do you want to sit? That was so bizarre. I came halfway around the hemisphere to, <laughs> to meet somebody, and you're upstairs, you know, grumpy cat in it. But whatever. I just want some time with Michelle. Here's to this night with you. I feel like we're kind of just like missing each other. I'm totally here for the jokes and having a good time, but at the end of the day, like, I came here to connect with someone. So if we're not connecting, let's either talk about it or... The energy when you're in the room is, like, gone. So I'm trying to figure out, like, okay, if she introverted, because, like, even when I tried to cheers you yesterday, you didn't, like, put your glass back. And it kind of was just like, well, it seems everybody's, like, laughing, and sometimes you're just like, there. I'm trying to understand if this is just who you are. I'm being really, really patient because I know that it's an adjustment. Neither of us have been in a relationship in a few years. Neither one of us have ever lived with someone. So it's a lot to deal with. When I'm super trying and I'm really like putting myself out there, you're closed off. When you're trying to put yourself out there, I'm closed off. So I'm like, maybe we can kind of just press a reset. You're just going to have to take some more time to learn you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I feel like I've put all my chips on the table. I truly believe that I deserve someone to do the same. Here we go. Sailing adventure. I think all the couples in the house, we want to get out, we want to have some fun. Awesome. Yeah. I am going to get a kiss out of today, 100%. Did you guys get the text? Sailing. I really hope that all three couples get to have fun and enjoy the day. We're gonna pick it up. Deep speed handling.
This is the life. BT and I, we are connecting on a fun adventure. This is everything you dream of when dating somebody. It bummed me out the night before that Lisa didn't come down for dinner. I was kind of like, what, what's the deal here, you know? I guess it's for lunch. <gasps> I'm feeling a lot better this morning. Keller was very sweet. He set up for us to have a little pizza date. Thank you for the pizza. You're welcome, hon. I was really upset last night. I think that's why I had to uh, spend the night in my room. That's all right. <laughs> we have those days. <laughs> yeah. I think that Taylor and I, we do have a connection. I think that we had a connection when we first met. I just want to be with someone that's going to make me laugh all the time. Why are you making me laugh right now? Because I was just thinking about that all the time is a lot. Like, <laughs> all the time. Is that all the time? But... <laughs> I think you're way too serious for this. I think you're way too serious for this situation. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh, is this our first fight? No. No. <sighs> you're adorable. Thanks, you are too. <laughs> Our kiss was good. I liked it. Taylor is a good kisser. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do. Trying to win my heart. You got One, two, two three, go! I'm not a fool. Falling. It's such an awesome experience. Ashley and I were connecting and, and close and touchy-feely. Then you have Lindsay and Alex, they're doing the same thing. And then you look over and see Amari and Dom and it's just like, totally different vibe. I think Amari and I have our moments, but I don't want to continue to like put myself out there and feel like I'm not getting anything back. You, you can't have bad energy when you're going on an excursion like this. Could be a nail in the coffin. Not that I want that to happen, but it, it kind of just seems like it's going there. How's it all going at the house? Spectacular. But it's difficult. This, you know, I think it would be easier, you know, in narrowing this down. In my opinion, I think that's that's rad. I mean, I know it's rad might not be the word you want to hear, but to sum them up, they're both splendid, they're what, beautiful. What they're, makes Michelle rad? She's open. She's empowered. She's independent. She knows what she wants. Lisa, <laughs> what, what makes her special? Lisa is... Lisa's a little different mold than I typically would be into, so... But they... I'm telling you, man, this is, this is not an easy decision. It's a tough decision. Yeah, absolutely. Why don't you step into my office? Ladies, we'll be right back, Bye. okay? Okay. All right. How you feeling? Today was great. I definitely have had an emotional response to each of them. All right, man, it's time to do this. Right now, you have to choose which of these two beautiful ladies you want to bring next door to the couple's villa. I'll give you a moment, take a look at the ocean, <laughs> reflect, have your zen <laughs> moments, and uh, I'll check in with you in a few, all right? I'll see you in a minute. I think both those women have exceptional qualities. Their personalities, their characteristics, little traits are fantastic. It makes my decision all the more complicated. Hey, hello. Hello, beautifuls. How's it 
it going? Hi, it's Ian. going. It's decision time. So I just want to say this. Um, I want to thank you both for being so adventurous and vulnerable. Uh, that means a lot. And that, so that's all I can say is thank you, thank you, thank you. And that being said, I only get to take one of you to the next place. Um, and that's going to be you, Lisa. Thanks. Have a good time. Let's go, Pink. I'm so happy to be here with Taylor. I mean, I definitely have chemistry with him, and I'm realizing it more and more the more I actually do get to spend time with him. <laughs> I think that bonding with him over this incredible experience could be enough to make a relationship work. Hi. Hey. How you feeling? Obviously a little disappointed. We're gonna figure this out. Okay. Like I said, you're super dope. Thank you. And uh, you're gonna find the right guy. Come on, let's go back to the bungalows, all right? Oh, no, no! I know, I know. <laughs> no, no, no. I know, I know. Say goodbye, say goodbye. No, You'll I'll be back. Be, I'll be back. You'll be, let's put him into the universe, I'll okay? Be You'll be back, all right? All right, no. <laughs> Michelle, don't make me throw you over my shoulder, all right? We're going this way. We're gonna <laughs> okay. find the perfect guy, and you'll be just fine. I enjoy being around Lisa. She's fun. That thing that people look for in a relationship, in a mate, it's there. It's sparking for me. And I came here to fall in love. To the new guys! To the new guys! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Rookies. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are in your own world. They are on their honeymoon. Like, yeah. I said the same thing. I said, I'm on BT's honeymoon right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they're the really happily married couple, and we're the honeymoon stage couple, and you guys are the 40 year olds that hate each other. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. The running joke is that Amari and I are like a disgruntled old married couple, and I've seen those old married couples, and no one wants to end up like them.
nuts. Like, it's like black. It out. looks a little ominous, guys. I'm not going to lie. They say when it rains on your wedding, it's good luck. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. They just say that so the bride doesn't freak out. <laughs> <laughs> is that my picture? Is that someone? Is that someone? No. Are you sure? So pack your bags, we're leaving. Say you want to get out of here somewhere where the skies are clear. I know just the place to go. Thank I'll you, guys. Home. Have a good day. I've seen what this experience can bring for some people. I've seen it up close. I am not a quitter. I made a commitment to see this through, and regardless of how I feel in this moment, I will forever be a lover of love. <gasps> so happy and excited to see Dominique right now. My heart is just in my stomach. I can't wait to find out what happened. I think Amari from Jump was a really, really amazing guy, but this is a two-way street and we all have choices and I wasn't willing to put myself in an environment where I was uncomfortable. If you get over to the villas and you decide that a guy is not kind of working out, like our option is to come back and try it again and their option is home. <gasps> yeah. Amari's on his way home. Oh. Like, honestly, your strength to be able to make that decision is so empowering to me. I have so much respect for you. Woo! Snaps, for that. snaps. You guys are too, you guys are too cute. But I'm ready for this helicopter. I'm like, I'm gonna sneak into somebody's room and put some lipstick on. I'm trying to get back in the game. <laughs> Next time on Couple, for the first time, two guys arrive together. I wonder if I'm going to have a connection with both of them. Then what do you do? Ooh. All right. Meanwhile, with the couples, I'm sitting uh, out. I could tell that BT was just getting frustrated. It took me by surprise. I didn't expect that. Thank <laughs> you.